something I've gotten questions about several times. Uh, how come when I make changes, it doesn't change out here? It doesn't change where I've deployed. Um, yeah, that doesn't happen. GitHub Pages is set up that way. So just pushing to your GitHub repository refreshes it on GitHub Pages, but Firebase is a totally different thing. So it's not going to automatically update Firebase every time you make changes to your code, right? You've probably discovered that. So what can you do? If you made these changes to package.json, if you have deploy and pre-deploy in here, then all you have to do is yarn deploy. If you haven't done that, it takes two commands. Yarn build is what actually turns your JSX and so on into real JavaScript, builds out this build directory, which is the thing that should get copied to the server. And then you still have to run Firebase deploy to actually put it on Firebase. Take this build directory, put it on the server. So again, if you've added these two scripts to package.json, you can just type yarn deploy. Otherwise, you need to type yarn build and Firebase deploy. So make sure when this is all over, you don't have the version from like last week out there that people are going to see. Uh, have your up-to-date work. Now, you probably didn't run into this problem, but you could run into a problem where it complains about an authorized domain over here wh when you try to sign in. So this is part of why exposing your API key isn't terribly important with uh, Firebase. You can whitelist domains, so no one can take your Firebase database, even if they have your API key, and then just deploy your app to another server and start screwing around with your stuff because you never whitelisted their domain. So you have to explicitly authorize these things. And by default, you have localhost and, and your Firebase domain. But if you hosted it somewhere other than Firebase, or if you had the weird situation like we have in the morning class where they're using their own Firebase database, but I'm publishing to the afternoon hosting, um, then you'd have to actually whitelist that. So if we were hosting it on githubpages.com, for example, we'd have to actually add github.io uh, to the list of authorized domains. Otherwise, you would get an error. What you would see, if you didn't have your dev tools open, is as soon as you tried to log in, it would just it, nothing would happen. The pop-up might show up for a moment, and then it would disappear. Um, but of course, we know if we're troubleshooting something, we open up our console. So you would actually see an error about authorized domains. So that's what that's all about, if that happens to you. All right, so redeploying to Firebase, authorized domains in the Firebase console, cool beans. <laughs>